welcome to today's BB11 updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Brandon MV Maker X. All right. So yesterday they had the power veto competition, and the players were Shima, Russell, Lydia, Jeff, Kevin, and Natalie. And Kevin won. Yeah. So he got to quiet all of his people who were saying that he would never win a competition. <laughs> all right. So Jesse was really upset because apparently Russell pulled out the house guest choice ball when they were picking the players and instead of picking Jesse, he picked Jeff. So this pre prevented Jesse from having a chance to save himself by winning the veto. So he can still be put up with the wizard power. All right, and um, Shima is trying to convince Kevin now not to use the veto because she doesn't want to make any more enemies by putting up another person or just angering the wizard. So, or provoking the wizard. So, Jesse is super convinced now that Jeff is the wizard, which he is, and he thinks he's going to use the power on him, which he is. And, um, Jesse's got this weird thing. He keeps saying how he's going to, like, leave with a shirt in his pocket. I guess because he's not going to have all of his things packed unless he just packs them on his own. Um, so the house guests will have to pack for him and they may forget something, so maybe he wants that immediately, too. So yeah, he's gonna have some shirt in his pocket. I don't know which one he's talking about. And Shima keeps saying how she's gonna release, like, a S-storm during the live show if uh, her nominations are overruled or if she doesn't have any more power. So this is what I have to say to her. If you're gonna go crazy, fine. I hope uh, you get some money out of your stipend because that's what you would deserve. It's a game. Expect the unexpected. That's what you signed up for. So, I said yesterday that Russell was a have-not. I don't think so, because he definitely was drinking alcohol last night, and that leads me to believe maybe he's not a have-not, and my sources were wrong. So, sorry about that. And, um, Jesse is trying to convince Jeff and Jordan that Russell wants them out, so that they'll just vote him out and not use the power. Um, I guess it's a smart strategy, even though it's not really true, but whatever. Um, I don't think Jeff's biting. He really wants Jesse out. But Jordan's kind of like, eh, I don't know. So, Kevin and Lydia had a little tiff yesterday. Kevin is probably not going to use the veto on Lydia, and he's upset. That she's telling Russell that he's not going to use the veto, and Lydia is upset that Kevin's not going to use the veto. So... A little complicated, but whatever. I'm not really sure who would go if the nominees stayed the same anyway, so just it doesn't matter though, because Jeff's gonna use the power, but they don't know that, I guess. And Lydia and Natalie mended some fences last night, talking about their different relationships with Jesse, and I'm sorry that I treated you like this, but I know that you don't like me, and blah blah blah. So it just looks like the girls' alliance is getting stronger. Which is kind of stupid because I hate those like girl power things. It's kind of annoying. And um, Russell and Shima started fighting today out of nowhere. They were just like joking around with each other, and then all of a sudden they started like calling each other names and like Shima even pulling out the terrorist thing. Hey, I'm upset too, but you need to relax. So yeah, and then the feeds cut off during the fight, so I don't know what happened, but it was intense. So, today is also the movie screening for the halves, and they'll probably be watching around 5-ish Big Brother time, I'm assuming. And tomorrow is the Power of Veto ceremony, so until tomorrow, much love.